my sneakers are special sneakers. They're red. They match the glasses. Everybody knows this. See, even he has them. So just just me and him, I guess. I can't just walk into a, a, a shoe store like a Payless or a, a sports locker or whatever they call it and uh, buy them. They're, they're special, right? I get them ordered. They, they come in a few days. Um, footwear shouldn't be expensive. I mean, these are kind of because they look so good, but... There was a time when I wore these slip-on shoes from it was Walmart or Target. They were uh, they were about eight dollars, okay, and I got four years out of them. Okay, and I want you to think about that. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com, and today we're going to take a look at Microsoft Test Base. This is an automated platform in Azure to uh, basically test your applications and policies for you. And there's a few different pieces of it we're going to look at. So this might be a two-parter. We'll see how far we get and take it from there. Eight dollars, four years. That's two dollars a year for footwear. You can't beat that deal. Let's start by talking about what is test base, right? So I'm going to go to my test base here in um, in Azure. This is my test base account. And what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to go to packages. So you can see I have packages here that I've uploaded. Uh, so I have my Google Chrome package. This was my Intune win uh, that I deploy through Intune. It's the same one that all my devices get. And I also have my, um, I have kind of a test package I've been working on. It looks like it's still in the verification process, but you can essentially upload your Intune package here and tell them you know how to run it so let's go to test summary and take a look at what's been going on here um okay great it looks like i have a few in progress so i have five in progress right now that's good um completed let's look at a complete test so let's take a look at this one and you can just see kind of real quick what i'm doing is i'm automatically running this on all these builds of windows so if you know when we have an app and we're trying to test it against you know uh, Windows 11, Windows 10, 22H2, 23H2, right? It, that, that takes time. Um, but we really just, what do we want to make sure it does? So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to click on the completed test for 23H2. And let's take a look at what happens. So there's a few things going on here. Um, it's, it's an out of the box test and I'll explain that in a moment, but it is going to simulate the, you know, the download and the install of the system. So script execution, this is me telling it what to do. All right, so we'll get to that. So I have a PowerShell script uploaded to install the app, launch the app, close the app and uninstall it. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna go ahead and run those for me. It's gonna give me, um, you know, the instances of it. If, it. if it failed, what happened here, I can rerun this particular test. And it's gonna give me all those, um, Detail. So I can download the log files from here. This is really cool. I can download a video file, right? And once that, <laughs> once that downloads, I'm going to show you what that looks like. Um, this is really incredible. So if I wanted to, let's extract that. Let's see what we got. Okay. So I have an EVI. I if I can play that, uh, let's do it in VLC. So take a look at this. <laughs> this is the PC being deployed out of box, similar to autopilot. Um, and I'm gonna skip around a little bit and you can see it shows up. Yep. So hold on. So the PC shows up, Chrome is installed. I believe it's going to launch Chrome. There should be a launch test. Oh, there were two videos. Okay, so we can so you're actually watching the automated test. It's taking a recording of it like a surveillance video. That's insane. Um, and now in this test, let's see what actually happened here. This up. Oh, so something's happening here. I don't know if it's going to act up oh, and there it goes. It uninstalled. So I must have missed the actual launch of the app, but uh, it it records everything, which is pretty cool. You can also download log files, which is the output of the scripts that ran. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about making a test base account and I'm going to walk you through it. I already have one here, but let's just go ahead and make one. So I'm going to, you would go to test base in Azure and you would create, 
and you would just essentially pick your subscription, your resource group, you name your test base account. So maybe this is Intune apps. Um, and then generally uh, enable system assign managed identity. You're gonna wanna leave that on. We're gonna get to that later. And I would recommend just not touch anything else. You hit confirm and then create. Okay, and what that's gonna do is that is gonna give you your test base account. Now inside the test base account, uh, you're gonna have um, quite a few options, right? But I think the, the biggest one is managing the packages. Um, and to probably start, you're gonna do new package. So you can build a package um, online, right? And we could take a look at this right now. Um, you would essentially go through here and, and assemble your package. And they have great documentation for walking you through all this. Um, you would select what kind. When we go back to the new package page though, um, create from the gallery, uh, this is actually in onboarding trending business critical app quickly. So this is really interesting. So if we take a look at this gallery, um, you can use Winget and you can just select a Winget app. So for example, um, if we wanted to test notepad plus plus, there it is. So we can just hit that and select it and it's going to help us. Uh, it's just letting us know it's third party. That's fine. It's going to assemble this for us. Uh, that's funny that it doesn't take um, the plus symbol. Um, and it's going to help you basically create your package. So that's kind of cool. Um, what I've been doing is um, create a package with an Intune app. So what you can do here is you can click on this. Okay, so we're going to select our file here. Now, what we can do, because um, I want to do, uh, let's do Firefox. Let's do something real simple. All right, so I want to do this with Firefox, and you can see I have an Intune wit I made, just like I would if I was going to package it in Intune, and I'm going to select that. Um, so we have, let's go to C, Win32, Firefox. There we go. So I I'm going to upload the package. And you can see it's able just like um, Intune, it can pull out the name, the version. Um, and what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna give it the executable. I have it on my machine. We're gonna copy that as path and we're gonna just paste that in. So what we wanna do now is to ensure that this is accurate with what's in Intune is we can hit grant token and select. This is gonna make that connection between the two. So I can pull Firefox here these versions are a little bit different, but this is actually going to give me the install commands I'm using and the detection rules. So in this case, the version's different, so I would probably adjust that, but I don't need to because I'm not looking for versions there. So I'm going to hit configure test and we're going to tell it what we would like to test. So we want to do an out of box test. Out of box test will basically make sure it installs, launches, closes and can uninstall. Um, we can have them pre-install some Microsoft apps like the 365 suite. We don't want to do that. Our package isn't dependent on that, but it's an option you have here. When you're, when you're testing an out of the box package test, you have four scripts that need to run. You have the close, install, launch, and uninstall. And, and they have a pretty good guide here. They walk you through it. I mean, I'm going to do that. Um, but let's take a look at the install first. So they basically give you the script that they create and the parts that you should edit here. Um, so what what we're going to do is it's able to do the uh, MSIX Firefox setup 9 MSI. So it's got your install command. OK, so I'm actually going to take out this. Uh, I'm going to take out a lot of this section here. Um, what I am going to do is you can you can also make this very simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this um, install command. I'm going to change this install command here. Um, I want it to be. Let's see what I got here. I want it to be the name of the package. Yep, wrong one. So let's see if we can copy that. OK. So I want to do 
name of the package uh, slash s. For this particular one and then i don't want to let it reboot so i'm going to get rid of that tag it shouldn't have to reboot it's just firefox um then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my launch script and i'm gonna okay it found the right i believe that's the where we found it program files missile firefox firefox yep so it's set to run that um it's going to check if the process is running and if it is, it'll come back uh, with the exit code zero. So that'll check to see if it launched. My uninstall is going to be removing the uh, MSI EXEC path. That's fine. Um, I'm going to actually change that to my, my executable. silent uninstall and I'm going to take my close script to make sure it can close and that's just going to be stopping the process it's going to be basically the inverse of launching the process okay so what happens next is we the, those are the functions it's going to run we tell it what we want to check against a security update a feature update um so I'm going to say security update because I am going to be able to look here and check all the the clients I want. You could even test this against server. So I only want this test to run on 22H2 and 23H2. And you know what? We'll throw Windows 10 22H2 also. We review that and we publish it. And first it has to go through and validate the package. You can set it up to email you once it's complete, which is kind of convenient. So you don't have to keep checking back and seeing what's going on. Um, Okay. So this verification failed. This was a different type of test. This was a Intune enrollment, which you can also have it do, which is pretty cool. But yeah, that's how you upload a package. That's how you get a test going. And then your, your results are going to be here in the test summary for you to go, uh, for you to go look at. Um, and if there's still some in progress, you can see that too. And anything that completed is going to show you that. A question I get all the time about Intune is usually about testing apps and especially if you're moving to the Windows update rings, how do you prepare for new updates coming out? How do you get your apps ready? Um, this is it right here, right? So you can literally take your applications from Intune, throw them up here and have it run those tests for you, which is really great. And then sit there and, you know, look at the results. And as you saw, especially if anything funky is going on, they, they get the video footage, which is just an awesome thing. So it's fun. Microsoft doesn't talk about it a lot. Um, I believe there may be a change coming to the service uh, halfway through this year. Um, but either way, if you're looking to get started, they give you so many. I think they give you 100 hours of runtime for free in most cases. So it really costs nothing just to get set up and get going. Let me know what you think about it. Hop in the Discord. Say hello. Or just, you know, pop in. Start talking. We'll be seeing you. Five, four, three.